game. Inkodon is a good idea for a mod already. But you've taken it one step further now. I already think it would be good right now to have a mod for Half-Life 1 where you replace Gordon Freeman completely with Gordon Ramsay. Oh, hang on, it's a duplicate. I gotta turn the transparency up now. Damn it! We had to change the transparency. Oh my god, Gordy's gotta be bright and clear and early. He's not usually half weight, I think, on, on trim. Um, for one, you replace Gordon, Gordon Freeman with Gordon Ramsay. I don't know how you really make that happen in the HL1. Like, you never see yourself, so I guess just like... You would just like make it so that like a lot of sounds are replaced with Gordon Ramsay's voice clips, I guess, when you do things. Like when you take damage, he like yells donkey and stuff like that. But you've given an even better idea, Uncredon. Someone should play through Half-Life 1 as Gordon Ramsay. No, it wouldn't work. Someone should get Gordon Ramsay to play through Half-Life 1 and record it as a better idea. <laughs> My god, Gordon, what are you doing? Making real fucking food! <laughs> Anyway. That half of these rebel games coming out in a month too? That what? Anyway. Listen. Listen, it's time for more. Not Half Life 1, time for more XCOM 1, a game almost as old. Kitchen Nightmares here, it's time for another run. We're on like run. We're gonna be starting like run six, technically seven today. We kinda skipped one. Uh, video game retro bro brings something up. Still using the old menu? Three dollar sectoids from now on, right? No. I'm actually not going to change the price of sectoids today. The old menu will persist. Two dollar sectoids, three dollar drones. It continues for now. The sectoids are still two dollars. That's twenty dollars for ten sectoids. Two hundred dollars for a hundred sectoids. It consists. It persists. Did you make any more changes? I did. Let's talk about that real quick before I do go in, because I didn't lower the prices or increase the prices of the sectoids, but I did manage to get in those changes I wanted to get in. So, stuff still persists from last time of I'd already last weekend flattened out the perks. Perk flattening had happened in the perk flattening chamber. Um, very f flat perks, which basically means I had made it so that every perk in the game um, that was available to us now has equivalent chance to be picked in case you missed that change. Rather than how it was before, it was all messed up, and I didn't realize it was like... It was based on how many were occurring in a soldier's tree. So if eight classes had ready for anything, but only one class had concealment, it would be eight times more likely to get ready for anything than concealment. So that's fixed now. Again, if you didn't know this, I've changed that. All perks are equally likely to show up. Um, there's only one perk I'm going to keep an eye on that for, because I think if it, most perks it'll be fine. But if I see too much collateral damage, because that perk is probably the most busted perk to roll randomly on just normal bio troopers, if I see too much of that, I might consider making that one perk have half the chance of every other perk. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, every other perk, I think even if you get a bunch of concealment or whatever, it's fine in the zone, whatever. But I think collateral is the one thing where, like, if every soldier had it, it's like, that's too much. Too good. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, how do you get it so stable so Soviet? I, I don't know. Played XCOM 1 instead of 2, I don't know, uh, years? Um, <laughs> I got a bunch, I got a bunch of mods. Um, and what problems are you having, Sovieta? Uh, I did add some other stuff, okay, this time. Okay, so also from last weekend, obviously we still have the battle rifle and strike rifles get extra ammo past ballistic. Battle rifle gets extra ammo from the start, and strike rifles retain its extra ammo that has a ballistic when you go to the future weapons tiers as well, which is nice. Um, those clap breaking soon, I'm pretty sure it does. I found out a fun thing about Collat while testing this morning to make sure my new mods were working. Well, new mod setup was working, uh, which I'll reveal to you if we get a collateral soldier. It's very cool. Um, very busted. So, the other thing I did is I turned on the item changes mod. Um, so, I'll say the item charges. I'll actually show you this. We'll go to the mods menu. Oh, that's weird, Sovieta. Don't know. No idea what that is. Um... I, I upgraded to the new version of Minimods Collection because I wanted to get some new UI. Now, even though I tried retaining my old config file and it said you could do that in the readmes, it did unfortunately reset everything, so I had to redo all my configs in here. If you guys see anything weird in the campaigns and you're like, that wasn't how it was configured before, let me know. I might have missed something, but this should all be the same config as I had before. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, so the new thing I turned on, I told you last weekend how we turned on the mail boost healing, that's on. Still, you can spend meld. 
to uh, halve your wound time or remove fatigue. Works on shivs too. Uh, yes, shiv slot is on. So the way shiv slot is going to work is that it gives you one free slot in the Sky Ranger for a shiv. No one else can go on it. It's purely for shivs. It is always bring a shiv at that point. If you want to be optimal, obviously. It requires the Super Sky Ranger Foundry product. So it's not from the start, because that'll be busted. That'll be super busted. This is something that will come in later on. You can't say exactly when, because you don't know when you're going to get Super Sky Ranger. Um, if you rush, if we if we rush Super Sky Ranger, we can get this earlier. In fact, it's honestly a good reason to rush advanced aerospace concepts. Um, would be to get Super Sky Ranger earlier and get Shiv slot earlier. Definitely something to consider. So full score plus Shiv, yeah, that's right. A ninth soldier slot, which we never thought we'd have in the next one, did we, folks? Whoa, wow. He's putting a ninth soldier slot in, basically. Free shivs. Yep, I use both, so yeah. So, that'll be something for, like, probably the mid-game to late-game, depending on when we get that in. Uh, it's definitely something to consider. We want to not neglect advanced aerospace. space. We want to get a foundry up. We want to get super sky rage. We want to get that free shiv. Because even a basic shiv is useful. And an alloy shiv, while expensive, if it's free to come in the squad, you may as well. That's that's a very helpful piece of equipment. So that's something we'll be trying to go for. Um, and everything that I put on, that I, I managed to actually get done this weekend, I didn't have time for the last time, is perks give item charges. So the way this one's going to work is I've just selected some stuff. Unfortunately, our show doesn't work with repair. Um, the way I want it to. Uh, I've selected some stuff here, which we're going to go with today. Some setups. If you pick Sapper, or if you have Sapper, I guess this works for engineers at all, actually. Um, if you pick Sapper, you get one free HE grenade. It doesn't combo with... Uh, no, wait, that's Sapper, not Grenadier. Never mind. So if you roll Sapper and you pick it, you get one free HE grenade. If you pick Ready for Anything, you get one free Flashbang. Um, if you pick Shredder Ammo, you get one free AP grenade. Uh, ignore these, these are just part of the mods how mechanics work. And if you pick Shock Absorbent Armor, you get two free flashbangs. Um, now, this uh, this especially for Shock Absorbent um, was where I wanted to add a couple of consu uh, consumables there. Because I have seen Shock Absorbent come up so many times and I've never, ever taken it um, in these campaigns because it's it really, no matter what it's against, Shock Absorbent is just so niche to me. Like, there are like rare situations where it's like, oh, a Berserker is attacking me. I wish I had Shock Absorbent. But it's so rare compared to any other perk for me to want to take it. So now we're we're pushing it up. We're going shock absorbent's gonna give you two free flashbangs. We're gonna see flashbangs in the squad one way or another. Can we get free rockets? You can, but I'm not doing that. You can, but I, I'm I'm not. Um there's something else very important, mod change wise, to consider as we go into this campaign. Um remember when I sniveled at SWF at the end of the Pet Cemetery mission at the end of the last stream? You weren't there? No? Well, anyway, it happened. I've installed it with Patrick GUI this morning. Flashbangs reduce will now. Yes! Yes, they do, folks. SWF made the mod. Flashbangs, they destroy the enemy's will. I think it's like minus 50 will. Just like the aim, it's a ton. It's so much. Did you activate reduced vision? No, I. that's where I got the idea from, but I didn't actually want to reduce the vision with flashbangs because I feel like it would make like the game weird. Like it would make aliens AI just kind of like break or not break or just be weird. So this is the way it's going to go. I've kind of always wanted this ever since I first played Lawnmower actually. Because immediately when... Yeah, as, as Raptor Brogle says, wait, they didn't reduce the before? No. I, I loved flashbangs originally uh, in EW and I loved them in Lawnmower. Until I used them on sectoids and was like, wait a minute. They, they're just gonna mind panic me now. And it always felt weird to me that like, both mechanically as a tactic for flashbang as being useful, and just narratively as well, that you could flashbang a sectoid and he would be like, cool, look out, Eagle is seeing the sectoid's gender, get his ass. The, the, the sectoid, they would be like, cool, and they would just like perfectly mind free or side panic you back. That always didn't sit right with me. It felt like that's not what should be happening with flashbangs. So, um, now it, it is not that way. It is a buff for flashbangs, which is definitely going to be strong. On the other hand, I haven't used flashbangs, I think, in the past, like, since 2014. So it'll actually be fun to actually use the things. Um, now, without rolling smoke and mirrors on soldiers, because we're training real at plus, we have no guaranteed ways to get smoke and mirrors anymore. It might be hard to bring a lot of smoke, uh, bring a lot of flashbangs. 
Especially when you consider that, unlike XCOM 2, flashbangs only last for one single turn in this game. So it's just the turn you throw them, the sectoid is flashbanged, or whoever, we might flashbang other units. But they're flashbanged just for that one turn, and then the next turn, nothing. It's not even like a halved effect, it's not even like 50 down to 25 on the second turn, no, it's just gone. So, it's not like a, like a permanent solution or anything, it's not like you flashbang them and like really gain a lot out of it. It's more like a stabilizing measure, I think, it's more like, there's 10 sectoids, I need... I need, like, a couple of people in my squad to stop the bulk of them while we charge them and kill them for next turn, basically. Um, good for breaking Overwatch, though? Yeah. So, how far can you throw a flashbang? What is their radius? Radius is decent. Um, not huge. It ain't XCOM 2 flashbangs, that's for sure. Maxi says, still seems underwhelming compared to just having an HE to remove cover, AP to remove the sector entirely. Yes, though, the, the goal here is to be able to get at least two sectoids in one blast um, in a way that one action, one grenade could not do. Because without Sapper, HE grenades will not reliably destroy cover in a lot of cover pieces. We learned that the hard way. Um, and you probably won't just one-shot kill both the sectoids with an AP as well. That's the idea, is this is something that one person can get one to three sectoids not fucking you up, is the idea. I think if they still prove useless, having the effect like persist a second turn might be the ticket. But you don't want to make them too OP. We're going to try them out today anyway. Hopefully they help. I'll try to fit them in. And if I get them for free on some of these um, perk choices, that was the idea, then they're always going to be useful because they're free. So we'll see, eh? We're going to try it out. Yeah, play it out. See how it feels. Because I, I, like I said, I haven't used flashbangs in a very long time. It has been a while. Put our second wave on. Hidden potential. Damage alert. I, I use seven things, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I missed one. Hidden tree, seven. Damage alert, new economy, strict screening. Hidden potential, turning relapse, plus. An act war. <laughs> Hidden trees, durability, united humanity. <laughs> Perfect information. You're gonna do commander choice? No, never, never. Commander choice makes it too easy. All right, let's go. Got here, just start? Yep, just starting. New start, just starting. Get Orsay, France, let's go. Get your raffles in. France is sending an urgent mission request. Tours! We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. The chatter mine is about to be scrambled between should you type exclamation mark raffle or should you spend your time spamming the tours emote. Actually really disappointed that no one is doing it except Jeff. Really disappointed. Super, super messed up, gang. Lazy Fist game is roasting you for nerfing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like Slay the Spire, right? Strike if we one. win a campaign, we gotta nerf ourselves again. You're free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright. Yeah, oh my god, insane. No, no, insane, insane. Okay, hang on. The kitchen has to open. Exclamation mark menu. And note where they're going to come from on this mission. This is messed up. <laughs> okay, so I start in the middle of possible contact left, possible contact right, and the aliens are going to spawn right here. Can I... I... Mm. Okay, I... Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I got thoughts about this. First of all, I got a raffle. Exclamation about raffles. Who is this squad? Yes, we draw them. We draw them now. I'm gonna reset it after this raffle because this is the long one that's been up all week for the Europeans. Um, here comes the winners. Hold up. It's Fotato. Fotato is Lefebvre. Ninja Spectator. You are Varma. Rico is... Oh, it's just Delta. 
I gotta do my announcing too. I gotta click the announce button so everyone knows I'm not rigging it. Delta's in. Tanaka is your account is locked. Polish Chuck is Neutera. And Honchurak. Oh. Polish Chuck and Honchurak. Uh, you are. No way! We gotta win this one! Bug Skipper's back! Bug Skipper's back, baby! I cannot lose this first mission. I was thinking of doing something really risky, and I don't want to do it anymore because I have to preserve Bug Skipper again. Bug Skipper's story could. If I don't fuck up this campaign, Bug Skipper's story could be back. Bad versus I got those written down. That's very kind of you, thank you. Let's look at what we got here. No one's ordered anything yet. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Wait until we've killed all the other aliens first. Thank you. Okay. New Dieci Donation Damn it, from wait. Oxian. <laughs> Eds, Agri Salarumba, please, Tails, freebie donation. Hold your orders for a second. But oh, that's that's at minimum that's at minimum five. Hang on, that, that's at minimum five. Let's roll first. Okay, coin flip. Website. Yeah, just flip a coin. Here we go. Thank you, Oxian, bring us in. Okay, so it starts on heads, and now I've got to flip the coin. So it's heads. Heads, agree a rumba, please, tails, freebie donation. Wait, hang on. If I do this, does it, like... No, it always starts on heads. Okay. Just using this website here. Okay. We want heads. Yes! Wait. No. We want tails! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, Griella Rumba. <laughs> I got it wrong. Okay. It baited. I pressed the wrong pedal. Because I got it wrong, see? Uh, okay, Griella Rumba is five. Yep, so we're at five orders open. Thank you very much. Four more aliens viable. Yeah, you guys want heads. Well, you got it. Griella Rumba incoming. And now you guys can buy four more if you want. What are we doing here? Okay. Seven health, bless you. 67 aim, 65 aim, 68 aim. Minus one defense on you. Scary. Minus two on you. Okay, so Rico needs to tank. 65, 61, 71. So Hon is the sniper. You are minus four defense, five health. You just got I will, okay, you just got I will. You got the med kit too, what the hell? Is that Mel to the right? Uh, it's a taxi, my friend. <laughs> okay. How do you play this? You want to break loss instantly. Breaking loss is how you win the game. Now, part of me wants to just charge forward and gun them down at, at their spawn. I could get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. New auto donation from Sektide Okay, that's it, maxed out, thank you. Maxed out, maxed out. Of Sektide Garcon. Maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out. We are alien maxed. That is a Gree and four sectoids. Let me write it down. One, Gree, four X, sexy. So that's three sectoids, two drones, and four sectoids. You got it. If I rush this and get spawn AP grenades, as Joe Wolfblade is saying, I could completely scam you guys right now. Like, uh, Real McDyson says, Hey, Peaks, are you going to Garson this year? How are you possibly going to make this into a, a, a joke about nuts? It doesn't make sense. I know you're about- I know someone's about to type Garkon these nuts, I know, but it doesn't make any sense. Please scam us when I see you get eld. Garkon these toids. <laughs> Garkon these toids have a hair in them. Hmm. I need to get the distance right here. If that's the middle, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
You would have to be like here to take advantage of, advantage of what's gonna. You just gotta grenade them. How many grenades do I have? Okay, so my goal here, I think. Oh, I even have a flash. Hooray! Stoop says, I think if you don't spawn kill the bot aliens, your chances of winning the mission are very low. I think what I wanna do, yeah, is I wanna like rush along here and like dash to this, this bit of the truck here. Or maybe even here. And as long as I don't activate anything in doing this, next turn I can spawn kill every alien. I'll have literally loss on their LZ as I bring them in. But it's a risk. Because there is a reasonable chance I activate something on the left or right as I go in. Left would be okay, I think, because I can break loss behind the truck. But if I activate on the right, it's a real issue. Now, the other thing, Pimple says, how bad of an idea would it be to offer to donate $1 per melody load of a can? It's a great idea. I love having money. Uh, you won't have to pay anything this campaign, though. <laughs> if you do activate, killing nine aliens is better than having nine active. Yes, that is a really good point, but what I'm worried about is getting flanked from both sides here. Activating it on one side is okay, as long as I can take cover after. Activating it on both sides at once is doom. You might activate drones that fly over the truck. Anything here is going to just flay me. However, it's probably better than just running to here and playing that game. <sighs> Alright. I think you just gotta push, yeah? You just gotta push. So what's the absolute... This literally could define whether this is a campaign we take for a year and win, whether it's one that's lost in this mission. This first action, it's hard to overstate its importance. Not just in what we're deciding to do here, but also, which exact tile do I go on? If you go down the- if you go through the middle, less likely to activate on the left. You do a donation from the meld. <laughs> Thank you, Meld. A big zitz me the meld. Good luck on the mission. Would be a shame if you didn't pick me up this campaign. Oh, it sure would, buddy. <laughs> Here. What are you worried about activating? Far less chance to activate something on the left because they're more likely to be pods behind lost blockers than on the right. The right is wide open. More likely if you bias to the right to activate a pod. Also, if I activate on the left but not the right, um, more likely... More likely I can just loss break it. However, I may want to know a little bit in advance if there's a pod on the right because if I, if I don't know there's a pod on the right and then I use my gold move to move to here, well, I'm fucked. Well, you wouldn't move there, actually. If you don't activate anything on the left, you'd move to here by default. But then if there's something over here, you're also fucked. I mean, it's basically like a, a sacrificial soldier at that point. Like, they're just gonna die. Maybe go in the middle. Because then, worst case, you can pivot to this position. Or maybe go to here. And then second move is to here. What happens if you evac? What do you mean? One, two, three, four. I'm being so extra about this move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I reckon probably like here. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Strong aura. Now <laughs> It's funny because the van actually if I if I do this fairly and I will, the van will actually block some of the the, the spawn ins. So even more reason the grenade. What do you think the odds are of there being a pod, like, right there? Oh, man. I want to run this way, but if there's fuckers on the right, you're just dead. One, two... New do a donation from Oxian. Oh, Oxian! In Thank you! A back you stole the idea. Meld, can you manage to open this campaign? Thank you! I will not remind you of that, but if you do that, I appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five. It's like that person who was giving me uh, a dollar for every dead alien in the previous shoot com. Imagine him doing that in this fucking campaign. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> They'd be broke. One, two, three. Nah, so we got a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. If I do this right, they'll only be able to shoot me from the explodable gas cans, those trucks, and that cone at least. So fuck it. Go here. Ooh. Can anyone get past you? No, so you have to be there instead. So then we can go... Three, yeah, six. Okay, so you're... 
Maybe I should just bring you to here, I think. It's probably safer to just go to here. On the move. Don't That's activate anything. Woo! Okay, this is good. One, two, three. This is a good start. This is a good... Potentially a very good start. I... I'm fine with this so far. Is that gonna be trouble? That might be trouble. You wanna make sure that you do it the way we did it, which is go to here, then across. Gotcha. Don't accidentally activate something. Out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> Pity all the kitchen aliens will spawn in behind that lost breaking truck. Yes, but we will destroy them. It'll just be hard to know, like, how many we've killed or not, or if there's any left at the end of all this, I think. Okay, you... I guess want to go to there. You can all get wherever you want, basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I them. It shouldn't activate. Let's hope it doesn't, because you never know with computers and video games. They're horrible little gremlins. You never know when they decide to just do it because they feel like it. Honcharak, you need to be careful because you might activate a bunch of bad shit. Ten four. I don't know how, but I just feel it in my bones. You might be the one. Isn't Honcharak Bug Skipper? I think Honcharak is Bug Skipper, or meant to be. Okay. Whew. You hear it on the right. <gasps> Close on the left. Like I said, they were in range, but they were behind a truck, because that's what made this work. Now, before anything, folks... Oh, you can see there's so much more of the skybox. It's time to do... The orders. Agree is three sectoids and two drones. Okay, here we go. Drop one, two, three, drop drone, drop drone, and then four sectoids. One, two, three, four. And usually I'm like just the slightest bit more loosey goosey of where they go compared to the LZ, but in this case, to be fair to the viewers, it matters exceptionally. That I'd be as fair as possible with the placement, because it could, could it could have a factor. Now we're gonna fucking grenade them. Now we've got to be kind of careful here because if the sectoid pod is here or visible to you through this this truck chassis, the wrong movement here could actually reveal the pod. In fact, it's quite likely. So you've actually got to be quite careful how you grenade here. You've got to get close enough to nade while not activating through that that neck of the truck, which is annoying. What command change the sky like that? Toggle foul. Toggle F O W, one word. Turns off map fog of war. It doesn't let you see aliens or anything, though. It just turns off the, the fog effect visually. I think you saw them? I don't think I did. Did I? Oh, shoot. They're right there. So that, that complicates this a little. Because I reckon that one, there is a non zero chance. So they have step out to here, which then sees you if you go here. So that's dangerous, okay? That's quite dangerous, and that could ruin. Everything. Oh, yeah, Jazz Label Atrophy. I hope you're enjoying it. One, two, three. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. So basically, just behind the van. You need to get an AP how much closer? One, two, three, four tiles closer. One, two, three, four, which is right where you're gonna activate on these fucks. Oh man, flashbang him? Yeah, I could flashbang the left pack and then just run up and take this position. Because I think otherwise, I just can't get close enough. So yeah, I, that's probably the right idea. Is flashbang these four, activate them, fuck it, and just run up, take cover here as much as we can. Should I just AP them instead? No, because they won't die is the thing. Though, mission one sectors only have four health. But if, if it goes wrong, 
You've got problems, but you're gonna have problems anyway. Probably just grenade. I have one AP, two AP, three AP, four AP, five AP. Everybody has an AP. I probably just AP them because they're tightly packed. And then as long as I can get like a few APs on this group, like three should kill everything there. Worst case, the drones survive. Probably the way to do it. Probably the way to do it here, I think. It's, it's what makes sense. New due donation from Oxian. <laughs> Chat Beagle is too noble to remind me of my commitment in relying on you to five? remind me and tell me if he got any on the Do any day of kitchen uno can only some team as watch. Am I wrong actually? Hang on, before I waste the grenade. Thank you, Oxy, by the way. Is it just you're out of movement there? Or is that really a pod? I can't tell. Where is someone who has enough movement to be certain? Okay, see, I might have just been about to screw myself. Because I'm actually not sure. I think that's just movement, actually. I was about to make, like, this whole plan, but I think it was wrong. I want to bias towards the van itself. Wouldn't that block loss of the pod? Yeah, but it might activate stuff over here. So it's all a trade-off, you know? I think, actually, I was wrong. I think Tanaka just has, like, a movement path that makes it look like there's a pod there, but actually there isn't. It's possible the pod is, like, not even going to activate, and I've just, like, gained myself. Because look... There's actually nothing here. You know how funny that would have been to waste a grenade there and do nothing? Now, they might still activate through there, but I think as long as I play my cards right, it shouldn't really. I don't know. If there's, like, fuckers right here, it could be a problem, but I don't see them yet. Remember, no human has seen an alien yet. <laughs> no human has ever seen an alien yet, yes. Sorry to, like, take so long, but again, this is, like, literally fate-defining these opening moments, as you can imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So probably get, like, Lefebvre. Or whoever else moving up, and let's just get some grenades rolling. Who has the least defense you? So you're gonna go here. Fuck okay, it, let's find out. Alien life on Hello. Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen one. in recorded history. So you want an AP like right in the back. Like right there. It's one, two, three, four, five. So you want an AP that's like right there. Catch. Just commit. Commit to this strategy. <laughs> five, five, four, four. That's I think four dead. When using explosives. While certainly effective, you see the bodies. Aliens, they also destroy One, the artifacts two, we're hoping to three. recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. I only one of the that should be four dead, but I only see three bodies. I'm gonna throw another one, of course. You spread the kills, though. I'm not worried about spreading the kills right now. <laughs> I'm. Uh, let me tell you, I'm only worried about getting this shit done. Okay, where were the drones? Sectoid, sectoid, sectoid. Drone, drone. Okay, so bias to the right a little bit more. Hurrah! Die! <laughs> yes! 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 One, two, three, four, five. Was left to even kill, so I did get four before. Those were big damage numbers. I think they might all be dead. I'm not certain, but I think they might all be dead. The only thing that could have survived that at this point, I think, is maybe drones. I've never scammed the kitchen so good in my life. This is... Th this... Mmm. Mmm, yeah. One, two... Check those bodies. One, two, three... Four, five... Sectoids. I know there's more in there. I can't see the drone bodies either. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. I need to see one more sectoid body that I don't see. I heard the drones explode. Look, look, look. Are those two drone bodies? I think there might be two drone bodies there. It might just be weapon fragments. But they look like dead drones to me. I think we got them all. Can you tile scan? I don't think anyone can get that far.
What do you think? Another grenade just for good measure? And we have we have plenty. Just to be sure, one more. Cause if one pops out I can't confirm right now, and if one pops out, it's It's curtains for one of my soldiers, so let's be certain, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Let's just be certain. There's nothing left. Another one for good measure. We got him. Alright! Valen silently breaking her third clipboard in half. <laughs> <laughs> she's like already mad at the first grenade, she's furious at the second, and then another operative throws in the third one, just like, just to make sure. Just to make sure there's no fragments left. How's the new run going so far? Terrific! We just, um, killed all of the bot aliens by spawn camping them grenades. So now, I just have to beat a normal gate crasher with three less AP grenades. Hmm. That's right, up until this moment we've only seen an alien very briefly. Someone saw, like, a sector around a corner behind a van and they just threw three grenades. So now what do we do next? Do I get cocky and push for the meld can? Or do I push in this direction and get the pod that I hear close? It is a good opportunity for meld. Also, this other pod hasn't activated here, which means as long as they don't activate by the end of this turn, if I push this direction, they shouldn't activate on me because of the lost blocking of the truck. <laughs> Alien life on Earth. Upright, down, down, down. <laughs> Whoa, 400 kilo be upon you. I'm never going to move these guys. I'm just going to wait. The soldiers don't even know there was nine aliens there, they just threw three grenades on one sectoid. Also true. We love to see it. Window just broke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Once you move up to here, you might activate, maybe even the, the taxi, but we don't know that for sure yet. Let's start pushing upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna get you to here first, Rico, and we're gonna see if you activate. No activation, now we're talking. We wanna get on uh, this cover if we can. There you go, okay, we're live. We got four in the back. Now, don't fuck this up, because just fucking this up after the free start would be terrible. And possible. We probably want to charge you to there. I can break loss in some of you, but not all of you. Probably get you to there. I don't know if I want to take the gas pumps, because if the wrong miss happens, you just explode, which doesn't sound fun to me. I don't think you should be able to flank me if I'm here. So probably just charge our healthiest soldiers up to the good cover. Yeah, you want to go on the roof? No, you really. We want to try not to blow that meld canister up too. Hopefully there's a double. There's a double. So two sectors in the back. There'll be one more pod behind me, I reckon. Two sectors in the back. So I got four sectors up front. Two in the back. Double activation is never good. We don't like it. And a drone. Let's see if that double activation breaks the camel's back. That drone needs to be killed or it's going to get me. Yes, yeah, baby. I need to shoot that drone. Je vais vers la position. 
Who else can shoot? Not very fucking well. You might kill it. Are those numbers on the right bigger than usual? I think I gotta fix my um my mod settings later. The config reset has made these like Playmobil sized. Good shooting when it ain't dead, we need more. Shooting from half cover. Uh, oh, not ideal. Everything by the numbers. Heading there now. Please kill. Please hit. I need you to hit. Thank you. Dead and That's gone. good. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Probably you to here. You over to here. I want to go to there, but you'll get flanked there, I think. And you... Don't go to there, that'll activate. Probably you just go to, like, here and hunker or something. This should not activate, but if it did, I would never forgive myself. I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to do this. Hang on. I could just hunker you there, but I was going to move to here. Okay, move you up to here. You maybe can move to here and half cover hunker then. That would be fun. Moving. Alright, this is a fine enough turn. It's not great, like we're gonna take a bunch of shit, but hopefully we're gonna be able to react afterwards, if because of the explosive gas bombs especially. If not, well I mean it is what it fucking is, isn't it? Hunker. You won't be able to say I didn't do my best. Strange suppression, good. Doesn't kill us. My merge, that's gonna be a good mental attack. But still, it's two sectors who've gone out of six that haven't attacked me yet, so that's good. As long as we don't have the back pod hit me, which I'm going to be worried about when we run on the left now. But as long as the back pod doesn't hit me, we're okay. Never suppression, I can deal with it. If they suppress too many of me, I can't get um, nades in or anything, but... Yeah, if they, if they keep us all back, I can't nade them, but at least they don't do anything with this turn, they're just running their ammo down. Unless this one does something clever. Here's the side panic for 29. Now this could be annoying. Good. Alright. So... Oh wait, that one hasn't, hadn't gone yet. Crap. Okay, so this is an interesting turn from them. I've... They're just like, all doing suppression. I guess because mission one sectoid will is quite low, so they don't value their own, like, panic yet, you know? They don't value the mental attacks as much. Because they get a big... Mission one sectoids are really debuffed compared to normal. They have four health, they have, like, lower will and everything. And then they get, like, a big spike of, of normal sectoid stats after mission one. But right now, they have, like, very little will stat, I guess. Like, you saw the natural 28% panic. I guess it'd be, like, 48% line merge. Yeah, low esteem sectoids, that's right. Now, what we want to do is get rid of the suppressions so that our front soldiers can grenade. We want to HE here. You know, AP. You want to get HE'd. That's what it's all about here. Now, who's getting suppressed? You are. You have nada. If I can free you up, I can get an HE on the U. You can just be AP'd straight up if needed. You fly frame, will they run away? Well, we don't know that yet. I can AP you if I can get you free, so you're suppressed by this one. So it's gonna be down to Tanaka and. Uh, not you. Tanaka and Varma. Tanaka wants to free you, I guess? No, you can't do anything because you're just gonna grenade that one anyway. So probably what would make the most sense is you AP this one, you. Wait, who was pressing you? No. How do I free you? You need to be done, but you're being suppressed. So you want to deal with this one. But 
which allows you to help finish them off. So you two are going to tag team it. But then that doesn't free the others. Doesn't solve any problems at all. You, you guys are all still stuck that way. So if you AP that one, you can't help with the others either. I might not be able to get these two unsuppressed this turn, I think. I might, not, I might just not be able to. It might be setting up for next turn instead. Unless you can move up to here and like, get a flash that far. I don't know if you can. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can't get far enough ahead up to flashbang that one. You have to be five tiles, which you can't really do. So I don't think I can get free this turn. Rap flash radius is tiny. Yeah, it's quite small, unfortunately. It ain't XCOM 2. Future of a nade, not an AP. Better to keep your AP ready for later, probably. So if we AP with you, it's smarter. And maybe just, like, spend the turn having the rest, like, run up. And get ready to the grenade next turn, perhaps. But I gotta get rid of you. I gotta, like, overwatch for the others as well. You're gonna have to hunker. So you're then... You're then probably gonna overwatch from this position. To stop them from flanking. I'm gonna clear you. You two are gonna, like, run to here and here. Or even to here to make sure they don't, like, do a clever little, cute little flank on you as well. Rather than the green van, could they run up the roof? Then. I... Uh, yeah, feasibly, I guess you're right. I guess they could think that's a cool move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It could be annoying, yeah. If I go to the green van, they could get me. You two are going to be overwatching as well, though, so... They should be fairly disincentivized from doing that, but you never know. I don't want to be too hesitant in my posture here, though, so I'll probably still do it. So you're going to go to there, you're going to go to here. Actually, no, you can't get into breath. You're going to stay there. So do you grenade or you? I'd like to get you up front, because you have an AP and a flash, but I'd like to get you, like... Oh, you can come to here, you can come to here and do it. You can go here, and AP over, and then you're closer as well. As long as it doesn't activate anything else. You can go to here... AP across, second AP finishes if needed, and then you can move up and flash next turn. Okay. As long as it doesn't activate crap behind me. Which we may as well find out immediately. Ooh, no, we're good. Bless. Bless up. Okay, you cannot get the flash, not quite. And I can't get the AG in, right? No, because the AG is suppressed by the same fucker. Okay, AP it is. There's one bug behind us, yeah, that we know of. Nice fucking nade. Well done. Good start. Good start to business there. And like I said, you two are going to overwatch. Varma. Mm -hmm. Should be able to get to here about activating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you want to get Varma to here. I just keep worrying about, like, just, you just keep having nightmares about like shit behind me, but it should be okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come to here. Okay. You're having nightmares about activating behind me, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. There we go. We're good. It's just dangerous when you got a pod behind us. You know. Okay, it's gonna be Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Maybe even a steady from you, and you can just like gap that one potentially. No one's gonna really get that meld next turn, which is unfortunate. Unless I was to, like, sack someone for it. You'd basically be asking Leah here to take a gas pump for cover, which with all the suppression going around is a very dangerous idea. I'm not going to sack her life for Mild, I don't think. 
but it does mean we won't be getting it in time, because it's going to expire next turn. Too bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's no way. It's too bad, but there's really no way. Unless... Unless you get like a crazy 23. But even then, I would not be ending the turn here, I don't think. Because then you just get flanked. Soldiers are worthless and then bucks. Yeah, but not not to me. Uh, there just isn't an easy way to get that meld, I think. Or to, to be in position to get it next turn without taking the explosive gas pump, which is just a terrible idea, I think. Just a, a god-awful idea. So we're not going to do that. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it. I want to, but we won't. Oh, I want to so bad. They only have one ammo, right? So they won't suppress again. Yeah, but they might just shoot. I... Okay, let's think about this realistically. There's one important question to ask from a strategic, unemotional level. Was Leah Bug Skipper? Which... Which, which raffle winner is, is Leah? <laughs> <laughs> Leah is potato. Leah was the first. Okay, listen. Let's consider this. What's your movement? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I can get it even if I run there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the thing. I can't even get it even if I was to put her on the gas pump. That sucks, but I just... It's just in an awkward position, I just can't get it. Unless I rush to it. But that is... You know, you're probably gonna die as well. Can't take cover the car. Yeah, but then the, the, the car is half cover and you die. The only way it would be okay is if it was this soldier hunkering on the taxi and you trust them to not get flanked by the sword on the side one show me one two three four five six seven eight they probably don't flank you so Rico would go to here and hunker which means this soldier's suppression needs to be cleared. So we're back to that. So I'm gonna go like this. No. No dice. No dice. Not happening. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. Nobody wants that melt more than me, folks, but it's not happening. Coming up behind me, they're really close. Holy shit. I'm surprised they didn't activate. They're right down that lane. A bad panic here could be terrible. This good mission is teetering on the edge of being ruined. Because we've got a panic soldier. And we're about to take rear contact at the end of these trucks. A lot of danger here. We gotta get aggressive and push up and get it done. Probably gonna have to suppress U2 or U back to. Ideally, HE U2 and suppress the others. Like, come here. Scoop. Got it covered. I can't really get the HE you want, because I was fighting... I see, I see all of them. Okay, so... The flash won't reach the back ones. You can flash these two. But it doesn't clear up the suppression that lets me get in there, you know? So that's a problem. 
They're too far away. Probably better than just HEDs to and save the flash for next turn. But I can't get in position for the HE because you are making us all stucco. So I'm going to have to take what I can get and flash these two, I think. Just just as well because they haven't got much gun left. So they'll spend a turn reloading anyway, most likely. They don't want to get my motor right now, too. And then we get the HE on the wall afterwards. It's tough, though. We're running out of steam here. We're running out of steam, and if you if you roll the two-turn panic off that mind fear, it's gonna be extra bad. They do have to be running out of suppression ammo though. They can't suppress again, I think. So we're gonna pay to flash over here. Flash out. Imagine if flashbangs were like damage fall off of explosives. Like it was like a big radius, but the closer you were to the edge, the less you got lowered. Okay, you're just gonna have to push up to here. Yes, sir. Give me some. Overwatch. Some Overwatch. Some. Oh, I need to turn the ammo number back on too. Some um, Overwatch. Please don't let that backpot hit me yet. Just give me a break. I need some mind fray. Come on, give me some luck. Nice. That's what we need. What the hell? Why do I hear a pot on my left? Oh god, are they teleporting? Are they zooming around? Lux holding. You're back. That one's overwatching, which is very clever there. Exactly what it needs to be doing. However, I can get the front two now. No, no, yes, the meld the meld is dead. The meld is dead. I hate that fucker over watching me. They're fucking my plans up. I'm, I'm gonna do a gas pump demolition here, I think. I want to save that for this, but... I can't, like, get it in right, you know? If I run to here, will I be seen by you? Yes. Absolutely. I could just run the Overwatch with someone else, but it's not a great idea. It's not a not a terrific idea. So I think you just gotta do like an HE and then an AP follow-up. Unless there's any other grenades to bring up. Uh polish shock, not really. We got one, two, three. Let's probably just go for the HE. And then hold the rest of what we've got. Try to probably start shooting them too, because on this one mission, I can probably trench warfare them decently. L maybe leader of the AP? I just feel like I'm gonna have to follow up anyway, but if I have to follow up anyway, that doesn't matter. So just, okay, leader of the AP, it might kill both of them, you never know. You just never know. <laughs> that would be great, Hydro. I'm not that funny. Are right, you gonna have to follow up with both? See you, kids. Two down, three left. They're just chilling. So on you, because I heard the enemy nearby, I'm gonna Overwatch. Gonna reload on you. But I'm gonna steady on you. I wanna play your game back at you. Tough gas bomb. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, non separate cheese for you. Philip says, if we kill a single alien about names of our violence and shambles, no. And that will actually legitimately be a problem for, um, for starting xenobiology after this mission. We would like to start getting kills without it, yes.
Put the drone. No, that was a grenade. That, that was also a grenade. Well, the others aren't coming. First kind of gas bomb was a shoot kill. Was it? Oh yeah, the drone. No, no, that drone. You're right. You're right. That drone. Let's study some shots. Playing that, um... Playing that trench game right now. Next turn I'll move up a little bit more, but it depends like if they want to like reposition now, now that there's less overwatch, yeah. That might change the game for them. Do something, I'm pinned down! Toyed. Shooting 22%. What a waste of your mind merge. Okay, no overwatch this time. It's our chance to uh, advance finally. Except uh, the one person who could is suppressed. These Toids! They're too clever! They're too smart. Their swag too big. Their brain too large. They'll kill you. Shoot that one. It's less activations this way, too. Just go for these steady shots right now. Oh! No! Come on! I'm... I'm b b b begging you. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hmm. Could come up to here and nade them both next turn. Though I, though I did say I wanted to get more gun kills, and it might be handy to have that nade for later, depending on what the other pot is. I think we want to bring you up. Maybe even like rush you up to here, Varma. Do the other pod might be there? Because I heard footsteps and I don't want to activate them. So let's not do that. Ah, it's really sticky here to try and like blend caution of the other pod with getting more firing solutions. Really sticky. That's why I might just need that grenade. Because I might just need to get this done. It's really hard otherwise in full cover. And if they start landing mine shit on me, it's not going to be good. Pull back. Yeah, but I also don't want to pull backwards because I don't know if there's two pods or this one teleported over there. Now, I don't think if I go high, there's any way they should be able to exploit it effectively. So I think going high is the right choice. I'm on it, Commander. They shouldn't be able to do anything about this unless the other pod is, like, magically on the roof for some reason. Okay, and we've checked that. They're not. So now we're going to go to here. And next turn we can AP grenade those fuckers. We're just high ground shoot them. I mean, yeah. Also an option. They're doing their best to play this trench game. Look at them. They're scared. Oh. What the hell? It's like they're invisible. You hear them, like, right behind that pod. Someone showed that I'm almost scared to advance. So the only reason I'm not is because if I do... Because of the angle, we shouldn't really get spotted by them anyway. So I want to go in here and AP these two, obviously. In fact, I can even probably move to a position where, again, unless they're on the roof... I don't even need to show myself.
You should be careful because they might realize they can get up to this vent, this AC vent, but if I grenade them, they should be dead. So, you can be seen from there, but what about here? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna bring you to here. Maybe they are on the roof, that's another thing I'm scared of here. Maybe they actually, like, legit are on the roof. That would be scary. One, two, three, four. Come here. Uh, not on the roof, as far as I can see. What? Oh, my, my range is way lower than I thought. Damn, I'm like stupid. I really thought I'd be able to land that. We're gonna need to overwatch to make sure they don't get up there, obviously. That's awkward though. Really awkward. How much closer do I have to get? One, two, three tiles. One, two, three. So basically, just right before the position. Moving out. Maybe you could even jump down to here next turn if there's no Overwatch, but we'll see. Okay, je surveille la zone. Go on to make sure they don't go high right now. I'm so flummoxed where the other pod is, man. Ow, had to happen eventually. The problem with being hesitant is you are inviting just random crits, random hits. That's how math works out. Now I should be able to nade him. See, I hear them behind me. It must be two pods. It's scary. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Varma just come straight up. That's affirmative. No activation on the roof. Good, you're gonna come to yeah, here. A P straight up. End this fight rightly. We're gonna have gun kills. Right, Why? Well, I, I need to check. win. This is like a really hard situation for these rookies to win otherwise. They're dead. I think I need three sectoid corpses by gun. I think I have none so far. So yeah, let's work on it. See what I mean? Miss the target. It's tough. Easier said than done. Especially because you're... Oh god, exposed now. Polish shot could be about to just go down here. And if I move up, I might activate more crap. This is a scary situation to be in, honestly. I don't like it. I'm not moving really LD others right now because... I know it seems over-hesitant, but... By audio, I have a pod right behind me and a pod right in front of me. So if I make any wrong step here and activate more shit that I can't handle, I could be in huge trouble. I hate leaving polish shot for health and half cover there. I should have double checked that harder or not even moved up to the half cover. I didn't think about this. But I mean, the thing is, if I don't... I'm not going to get you through the full cover anyway. This is probably the safest thing I can do. Is keep chilling. Overwatch, try to... Try to maybe don't overwatch, just steady so maybe they run away to another pod. You can reload. You can do one overwatch, you can overwatch. Hope they don't shoot polish like out of half cover, but you might need to reload too. No, 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 don't do it. Oh, luck. I mean, that's just luck. That is just some luck right there. That is nice. Nice to have some. Now, this is a flank. You might not believe it, but it is. Might activate. Fuck it. We have the, we have the building if it activates a shot pod. Now, I say this every time, uh, it's nice to finally have another demonstration of it, but yeah, XCOM 1's rules are jank. XCOM 1's rules for are you flanking are just, um, are you in a position that has step out, and if you didn't have the hub full cover between you and the enemy, would you be flanking them? So this is a flank, even though it obviously shouldn't be, because we, we get, actually can't step out to the right. Um, this is different to XCOM 2. In XCOM 2, they fix this, and you actually need to have a flank from the stepping out tile. But in XCOM 1, it's just like, go for it. Have fun. And I will have fun. I'm about to start keeping score. I mean, if you want to, like, be narrative about it, you could say, like, yeah, like, that's, that's like, a, a basically an aiming angles flank. But by the game's rules, obviously, that's, that's like, not really how it should work. Something you've got to be aware of, not just to exploit for yourselves, but something you've got to be aware of to use against the enemy, uh, that the enemy will use against you. You've got to watch out for that. That's why you'll often see me not take positions where it's like, for example, 
if if I had a soldier here, and the sector moves to here, I think that's a flank, right? No, wait. Um, is that a flank? No, you would have to be... It would be if, like, the cars were here, and your step out was here, you'd get the flank on me through here. I mean, you could have stepped out the, by the window, right? No. One, no, you can't. Two, it's a fucking wall. <laughs> so, double no. No, that, that, it is a, it is a thing, Cordon. It's, it's a thing. It's just a thing of Mexican One's rules. It's not like, there's no other explanation for it. I learned it a while ago in Shukon. Okay, so we actually cleared contact there, which is really cool. Um, stabilize, yeah. Uh, and now what? Try and get heads or tails on where the fuck the rest of them are. On the move. Cause I got, I got fucking no clue right now. Stay near, loss blocking shit like the vans. Reload. Overwatch. 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 Is there still pods behind the trucks? But are there pods over here? That's the question. Or was I just getting fucked with the whole time? Was I just getting fucked with over here, perhaps? Reasonable way to find out. Just go looking for the pod that was supposedly giving me footstep cues over here, because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think I'm just getting fucked with over here. Like, it just doesn't make sense for there to have been a pod here, I think. I don't think so. I don't think there's another pod. I don't know. Hunter needs a heal. That's affirmative. Okay, I'm going to kill the zone. It's killing time. Look at me. 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 You're in the ghost of the kitchen or as you spawn camp. It honestly might be. I considered that, yeah. I think, I think, yeah. I think it, was, it, it wasn't real. I think we just got fuckers back here, which we're going to deal with now. So that made this push harder than it needed to be because I was extra hesitant. But you guys heard him too. I'm not crazy. You heard him too. Поехали. They, they, they clearly did, yeah. I'm not crazy, you know. I'm not crazy. Heading to that location. I'm not. Hauling ass. I'm gonna heal you up. And if we can get this last set of sectoids and whatever down without taking any losses, this is another great start to march. We all know how that went last weekend, but it will be another great start. Not perfect, we took wounds. We didn't get meld. Which apparently is a thing you can get on Gate Crusher missions, I'd forgotten. Don't be near cars, just in case there's some weird time bomb ticking on them that we don't know about. Minimize risk, everyone. Minimize risk. Don't, don't go near gas pumps. I reckon they're in the traditional sectoids camping the back truck position. They do love that position, which means you wanna. We have any grenades left? We have one, right? Yeah, we have one AP. We're gonna like push, tile scan them, and frag them. Boy, how was initial spawn contact? Camel, if I rush their spawn, I did like a counter strike move. I did like a cod cod move. <laughs> it looks so fucking f fucked. They might not even been armed. They, they might not have been armed, it's true. Best part is there's just half the bodies. Yeah, we, we haven't even seen the rest of them. Of the bodies. Is that a misclick? No, we're good. Rush them so fast you caught them in the bi wheel. <laughs> Joker Wolfblade says the sex toys spawn in the kitchen open the buffet 
Joker will play says, Sectoids, what the fuck, autocorrect? <laughs> Why does your autocorrect know the words, know the, know the phrase sex toys? I don't think, I don't think phones do that unless you train them on the words. <laughs> Stoop says, yeah, those might not have been invaders, but like Gleep Bloop the Sectoid first grade on his first field trip never plan out. Beagles are toxic. They, they, they came in peace. Now they come in pieces. Wait, wait, though. No. How do you explain this? Just hugs. Friends. Oh my god, that one shit himself. I, sorry, I did it again. I assumed the gender of the sector that shit themselves. Sorry. We, we don't know. She, sh she could have shit herself. They could have shit themselves. We don't know, folks. It's wrong to assume. It is wrong to assume. Rolling. Uh, <laughs> Stoops says yes, that person on the ground's name is Peace, and they... Stoops. Everything by the numbers. Stoops. Stoops. Okay. Time to start tile scanning, gamers. We're gonna go around the right. Stoops says I'm sorry. Are you sorry, Stoops? Stritcher says, Pronhub must have a Netflix-like game section. What? <laughs> Why did you say that? Head into that location. <laughs> what are you talking about? Boy. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> well, no matter what the answer is, what do you mean? <laughs> They're definitely on that back truck. They love that back truck. Careful, because you can sometimes get spotted by them on the back truck. The back truck of the Mac truck. Yes, ma'am. Moving in. Good job, boy. Good to go. Friendly's under fire, moving in. They're active none. No, they're just chilling on their favorite truck. Okay, they're 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 mobile though. They're movers. We don't know what they do for a job, Beagle. Mm, true, true. I'm on the move. And says, anyways, on the topic of horny, who on XCOM can inhale the most glizzies? <laughs> you mean like of the named characters or like any soldier we've ever had? Because there's only like Dorn, Vol- Oh no, Count XCOM 2 as well. Okay, sure. True, true, true. Warlock. Bradford his throat cut. <laughs> Pixel said, I will do it. <laughs> Moving. Count Chimera Squad, Coward. Look, you can't count Chimera Squad because then what was the Muton's name? Ah, fuck, what's his name? The guy who looks like Homer? Special. Because then it's just between Torque and Axiom. That's right, Axiom. Shibati. Pork versus Axiom in a hot dog eating contest. Who who wins? Like obviously Axiom is gonna be able to like chomp him down. He's a big guy, but I feel like Tork would just like wrap her tongue around like a column, like twenty glizzies long, and just go like. <laughs> Axiom no diff. <laughs> I I want to see that now. 
<laughs> I want to see the contest. Both of them so intense, waiting for the starter's pistol. We shoot a literal starter's pistol gun. A laser pistol is fired into the air. And it's over in like a second. The stopwatch, like a photo finished, like over in a second. And, and Torque has just like shoved like a column long, like fucking 10 meters long of hot dog straight in. And Axiom has just gathered like the same number of hot dogs in his hands and has just stuffed every last one of them into his face. <laughs> Incredon says, Tygon ripping off his lab coat. I will tank the glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so there says, I don't know if I'm old enough for this content. Well, it's good of you to have the, the awareness for that. How have they not made a Chimera Squad dating sim? Actually, an incredible point. Um, back in the day, I was weak and I asked for things like roguelike Chimera Squad mod. These days, I would ask for something much better like Chimera Squad dating mod. Maybe I could make a trailer, like a fake trailer for it. Maybe I could contact the, the voice actors and ask if they want to do a fake trailer. We can we can crowdfund this idea. I'm gonna talk to Mark Nona. He's in charge. Okay. So, not a great start. We didn't get any Overwatch. So you shouldn't have been there when you were all there. Now... How do you want to do this? I want to break loss. One, two, three, four, five, six. The problem is that's a flank, so you can't do that. You want to find a spot they can't flank you from. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, they can flank you from pretty much every truck here. They've got a good spread. Better to just break loss in general at the back of these ones, I think. You can't go there, but you can go here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, excuse me. Here, 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 and here. Back to the brown van, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brown van gaming. Because you can't go there. You can go here. That's fine. Start flanking around that side. Exactly, Hyphenator. Keep the missions and come out the same in Chimera Squad. Just have a third section between tactical and strategic gameplay where you just have a dating sim. Not even dating the commander. Just dating each other. Just let me be a part of it. Let me see it. Let me influence it. That's all. I'm going to be on a Chimera Squad mission. I'm going to be like, oh yeah. Nice. I got to get the optional objective so I can unlock the gift for Torque. So that <laughs> Claymore can give her the... I don't know what gift Torque wants. You have to learn their personalities, chat. You have to prove you're the biggest Chimera Squad fan by knowing what gifts they would want. Fire Emblem Star relationship ratings. And then... And then... They can have babies! Um, Jam was playing Star Renegades last night, and I want to play that game again, speaking of all this. Just combine Star Renegades with Chimera Squad, please. On my way. You're gonna come to here. I forgot about Star Renegade. So did I. It's actually had a bunch of like free DLC patches. And I want to try them at some point. It's a really good game. Actually a really good game. It's probably worth playing again. Did you ever play the update over Pulsar Wheelchair Man? I don't think I ever did, no. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. You're gonna go here. Can you find out there was a fourth sectoid? No, we're good. Full break loss here. Full break loss. Orders confirmed. On the move. Oh yeah, it's Torque and Jane Kelly's already locked in, I forgot. Oh no, is it? I can't remember. I think people speculated about that, and they were speculating whether it was like a romantic relationship implied in the game's logs, or if it was like uh like just like a friendship or something. I can't remember. I remember there was being like an argument about that, and I don't think it was just like the usual kind of like they were roommates. Oh, look at these two skeletons holding hands. Like they must have been great friends. But I don't remember. Someone can correct me. 
Yeah, like a mentor sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm not trying to do the the thing where it's like, oh, these these two women died died holding hands. They must have been great friends. But but I think legitimately people said like, oh no, there's like stuff implied. It was like a mentorship thing instead. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna break loss from there as well. I kind of can't though. Scaly erasure. Tyrite is screaming, Jane is Torque's mom, god. See? How do I do this? Okay, so we got one there. Sorry, but my, my mind is stuck on the idea. The Chimera Squad XCOM dating sim should have percentage chances. You like do all the right button presses, but then it's still like a percentage chance roll. It's like if if the affection is returned. <laughs> One, two. I gotta find this last sectoid. Where are they hiding? I don't know how to play this. I think I'm gonna check the left again with you and see what's going on over here. Because now that I can't break loss, I should just see what's going on. Now you can see there's no one there, so I should be clear to run back up to here now. I'm on the move. As long as they're not in a weird position, there they are. Which now allows me to move you to here. Ooh! Holy shit, it's perfect! Hey! Am I so clever or what? I have a big, beautiful brain. A big, big, beautiful brain. Now we're gonna hold you right there. Probably overwatch you, so that you can't run and we get you next time. I would like to do a bit of a run around this side as well, to get ready to get you, and we'll just have everyone, like, overwatching, I guess. I don't know if I can get away by getting overwatch here, though, actually. No, I can't. If I try to back off here, I think it fucks up and I think I get shot, maybe. No, because as soon as I unmagnetize from the cover, you should break loss, so it actually should be okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can flank me. Just makes them both run, which gives us a bunch of Overwatch shots. I don't think they'll try to run to flank me. And I'd have one, two Overwatch shots on this one. But sometimes the sector will just do a thing where they'll just like rush, rush the cover to clear the flanks. It's probably safer to just chill here, honestly. As much as I want to do that, it's probably safer to just chill here and then, you know, if they keep overwatching, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to get you on the flanks anyway, so just lock them in place and everything should be fine. Overwatch. I've already maybe enough. And they might. Aliens love to clear their own flanks if it's only one person flanking them, so I, we're not going to play that game. We're going to go boom. Bomb. Everyone's got lots of health. So it should be pretty safe. Yeah, they just overwatch again, and that's like, just, just a win for me, basically. It's just a win for me. Now, can I get to here about getting shot? No. Can I get to here about getting shot? Yes. It's not as fun, though. If I go to here, you can clear the incoming flank on yourself, which we don't want. If you guys are just gonna chill and not do anything, I can just shoot you, though. Straight up. Like, like it's kind of like... Rather than taking any kind of risk at all, look at, look at your actual options here. If you guys are just gonna chill, then I'll just shoot you. You know? So now I go like this. And this. And I overwatch you again. You stay here and overwatch, you're ready to flank whenever it comes up. As soon as one of them makes a move that isn't overwatching, I can exploit it with flanking. And as soon as one of them 
Um, and if they just keep overwatching forever, then it, I just win for free, you know what I mean? I just win for free. So it's up to them to make a move here. And if we've got their AI just stuck and they're just like scared, then we just win for free. Win for free, win for free. You got them in the computer logic loop right now. 20%. 20%. Ivor, you need more kill? You need more kill. You need kill more. Yeah, eventually. Not yet, but eventually. Here we go. So they're making a move now, unless this crits for seven. Or blows the truck up, actually. Now we AP grenade you if we need it. Do I'd rather not, because I'd rather get the body? Well, maybe this is the turn to finally get a, a shot to land. Let's find out. There it is. That's one down. Now we can run over to here. Start flonking. Don't do the flank yet, because if they run, we get the overwatch either way, and otherwise they get a flank on you. So we're just flonking. For next turn. They're probably gonna do something different. Nope, they're scared as fuck. 61 aim. Rico, you know what to do. <laughs> oh yeah, sir. Oh yeah. Alright, now we see what they actually do. You can't see, so we push you to here. Actually, here might get better shots on both. Sector's on the run. Get him, Tanaka! Okay. Missed. I'm all out. Get him, Leah. Okay, ass too small, didn't hit. Shot didn't connect. Okay, that fucker got the hell away. <laughs> they, they, they got the fuck away. But! And this is gonna be a big butt, unlike the sectoids. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can't flank. All they can do is like run to here, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That they could flank you there, so be careful. We need to get people in position A to be ready to back you up if they rush this way, and B if they rush this way. Most likely they go for the back of the truck. Uh, turn into a bit of a, a goose chase here, though. It is. It is. You just come here and reload. You push up. Got it. Move it. Push up. Push up. This should be fine because there's nowhere safe they can get you there from. Double time. Reload. Overwatch from here. There's the runner going for the the only move that makes sense for them, of course. And you're done. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Excellente. The campaign begins. Now, let's hope this time we don't trash it on mission two. 19 killed, how many corpses? Let's find out. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Hi, Bradford. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Remember the research, thank you. this project is twofold. Providing tactical support Remember to shout it when I go to the lab. And keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow yeah. you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. Commander, I'll let you get to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming, computer. New donation from Oxian. Oh my god. 
Congratulations, Commander. Your choice to prioritize the lives <laughs> over Meld is admirable. What? However, there is another rule in this game. What? For each mission with Meld comes where you fail Commander, to open at least one dieci dollari gets added to the summon mected freelance pool. What? Currently stands at dieci mila cento venti dollari. Every Meld can I don't open in the mission with Meld cans, ten dollars gets. Every time I don't do it in a mission, get at least one milk and ten dollars gets added to the summon mectoid lance fund. Currently ten out of hundred twenty dollars. What is that? 30, 60, 90, four mectoids? <laughs> Why? Why are you sore? Commander to the research labs. <laughs> Commander to the research labs. Gosh! Gosh! Gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Oxygen. Thanks for warning me, Oxygen. So Beegs now gets more money if he just doesn't collect meld. Yeah, but I also get four mech toys at once. <laughs> Alright. That's terrifying. Hey, we got another first mission of only one wounded for not a long time. That's good. Um only one heavy. Two tacks, scout, two supports, okay. The recovered okay. artifacts are being unloaded and the research team Maybe is waiting yeah. your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. But first... Commander to engineering. Commander, Commander to engineering. I realize our troops have to put their... Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. We've still got some room to grow up Oh, here, the steam. Really Ooh! Expand our facilities. Ooh! We're going to have to start excavating ooh, 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 the base. Ooh, ooh, Unfortunately, ooh, ooh, the deeper we go, ooh, ooh, the more it's ooh, going to cost. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Commander to Power mission control. goes here. Commander to mission control. I want to get this one too to be greedy. Which means the lab block should go on the left because I think I'm going to do the workshops after lab block first. And I'm more likely to get six labs up before I get six workshops that way, I think. So it'll make more sense to do labs here. Workshop here. Power here. Is there like some kind of fucked up way I can have both? I don't think so. Because I would go like, what, like this? No, you, you can't get both without fucking up your uplinks. Okay. We do want to get down there to that thermo. Work crews on their way to begin construction. Okay. Remember, word when the new something's out of our something's out of our control for how good this campaign Commander starts is will we get another mission before March 10th so that we can get our maximum number of satellites built? We need that. As always, tradition. One of these. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I mean, it says leave just right of access lift for OTS and have a Tetris shape for power. OTS. How? Yeah, but then I, then I can't do two 6x6 six six blocks. Or even 4x4 four four blocks. Yeah, it's when we get Super Sky Ranger, Will. Let's name. The soldiers. Did I see a John Wick? Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. I swear I just saw a John Wick. No, I didn't. <laughs> Jordy de Ritter. Hit the de Ritty. Okay. So, let's get those names down. Now, uh, bad bro, can you please tell me who was who? Okay, thank you. You've got it for me. Wait, everybody stop raffling. Ah! Ah, I can't grab it! Ah, I can't grab it! Everyone stop typing! Okay, thank you. Thank you for stopping. Oh, and Jeff's got it too. Thank you so much, Jeff. Jeff's got me covered as well, so we're all good. Let's name your soldiers before anything else is done. So, Leah, who did quite well. Okay, you didn't do great. Anyway. <laughs> she got a kill. That's... No, not for Toto. <laughs> for, for Toto. It's for Tato. 
Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. You're in. Um, Varma is Nina Ninja Spectator. Very good. We have Rico is oh it's just Delta. Remember oh it's just Delta from the last time? I think it was from Shootcom, right? Last Shootcom campaign, Delta was the one who, who the assault who died holding the door. Very sad. Tanaka Commander is account locked. Commander to Your account is locked, yeah. Hmm. Your account is locked. And if your account is locked, you can tell me what you want it to be named instead. But that's what it's going to be for now. Um, Polish Chuck is Neutera. And finally... You can see how well I know your name if I don't have to alt tab to to put in the the brain stuff working. Different capitals. Finally we have, and I want to get this right, Bugs Skipper. Alexandra Bug Skipper. I almost feel like it it's just gonna be Benjamin Bug Skipper anyway. Benjamana. Bug Slopper. <laughs> First name Benjamin. <laughs> okay, hang on. Wait, Alexandra. I wanted to control. do. Damn it. Commander to mission control. There. Give me back the Benjamin. There you go. Alexandra B. Bug Skipper. The B stands for Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> Were you random roll Bug Skipper for shooting class? Um. Maybe I mean everyone can be a shooty class or training relay is the glory of it. You can start as a medic and roll. Um, you can't get a, a sniper rifle, I guess is the only problem. But you know you could roll like a, you line them up and everything. But you'd never be mayhem strike rifle. It's true. Maybe a medic bug skipper is just what the doctor ordered. The B sensor B mod. Shut up. <laughs> he got is kind into another Ace Gun world. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Um, Joker Wolfblade says Bug Skipper should have the right to choose his Commander own class. Okay, control. Bug Skipper, are you fine with being a, a support class or do you want to be random rolled? I will let you choose. Hey, because you know what the merge perk class mean in the I and I? In Training Roulette Plus, it means that perks get stuck together. Like, you pick one and get the other one as well. Alright, so Xenobiology is going. I just want to make sure I'm not fucking anything up. Some I have no corpses to sell this time. Expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've Which means I can only make, make, make However, one satellite. We should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Commander, hmm. the artifact we're about to sell to the council has been Bugsy pursued random. The okay. Team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. You're an assault, like baby. It sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need to make everyone around them better. The <laughs> Benjamin assault Bug Assaulter. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Alexandria gets close and personal. We're gonna see what else you roll. Wouldn't it be sad, Bug Skipper, if you just got like the most disappointing perk tree? It would be. Buck Salter. Buck Salter. Buck Super says, hey, wait a second, I'm feeling like a scout again. Maybe if you get, um, lightning. Should we be the first to die? Oh, don't say that. The worst of those best Oh, true! We shouldn't random because we should wait until the satellite, uh, over Russia comes in. Well, Bug Skipper, you, you're probably gonna be the only assault ever who's minus one HP compared to the rest as Commander well. To mission control. But hey, we have an assault Commander in. To mission control. 17 days as well. Skill issue says bugs. <laughs> Bug weaker. <laughs> okay. I'll ravel some pilots in a second, but I... 
correct me if I'm wrong. If, if you if you have any reason to scream at me, chat, and tell me, don't forget to do this thing before you start scanning, now is the last second. We are about to do our first scanning of the new campaign. If there's anything to do, other than saying something unfunny like, you forgot to give me my soldier. Okay, Parker Boy says, wash your hands. Okay. We need to build the uplink? No. Cancel research for five days. <laughs> Pites of more rookies. I, I wish I could afford to. <laughs> when you get the stat, just console Ben's HP. No! Boomhauer says, gotta remove you from the raffle. <laughs> okay, Boomhauer. Commander. Our current satellite uplink facility I think we're good. full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow To shut up, Bradford. Now please give me a mission before the satellites. Give door his perks, everybody shut up. I don't have a good feeling about getting a mission before I think we're only gonna have one satellite at the end of this month. If that at this rate. <gasps> Commander, we've picked up multiple requests oh! for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Oh. Now hold on. Good. Bad. This is where the last campaign went. Yeah, four spe- Oh god, five specialists! Five specialists! And then hopefully the next mission is a crash scout that'll be a bit easier and we can take rookies. Oh god, all rookies versus an outsider. There is not much loss-breaking ability on this map either, chat. You just got the trucks and the excavators, which isn't a ton. I guess, I guess if you hold, like, this line here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six spots to break loss, but it's not ideal. Bring over rookies and bugs here for the shotgun. Bugs here can't go. He's, he's actually the one who was wounded. Wasn't the last one swarming? Ah, uh, maybe. Might have been. I think it was a heavy. How many is heavy? Uh, Fourteen, I think. It goes nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna bring those flashbangs. Yeah, I'm gonna bring those rockets. This is quite a wide map, too, so definitely want the Rauket. New Terra? No guesses what you... Oh, God, your aim is so bad. You actually will be better as a gunner. Your aim is so god-awful. But... I need a Rocketeer, and it's only four aim less. But you have minus defense. You're just bad at everything. You are kind of better at a roll as like anyone else. You should be rolled as a different class. Because she's will. She's all will. She's, she's everything is will. You get soldiers like this when they dump all their stats into will. That's why Fortato's almost as bad as her because all the stats have been dumped into will, see? Isidro sent in 24 month sub. Thank you for two years subbing. Isidro says, you told me to send out the bigotry, and I think that's really cool. Thank you, Isidro. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think it's really cool that you do. Just, it might have sounded like I was saying something else there, so just to enunciate properly, Isidro says, taught me to stand up to bigotry. Just want to make sure that no one, like, misheard how I talk too fast there. Like, Isidro was saying, like, oh, you taught me to do bigotry. No, like, to stand up to bigotry. And I think that's very cool, Isidro. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Hmm. I mean, a Rocketeer of High Will is good. You know what? Fuck it. They We've been through this, haven't we? Just roll five aim. To the squad. Just roll five aim, straight up. In tow. There are demolitions experts. Commissar said, oh no, uh, Yellow Bro says, stand up bigotry like stand up comedy. So you mean stand up comedy then? It's mostly what I see when I look on Netflix specials. Come here, you. B, you need to soundboard that one? What one? 
Hyphenated says, fuck off. Hyphenated said, you must first learn the too big a tree if you endure to fight against it. No, you don't. No, who told you that? You don't. <laughs> you don't have to learn to be racist to then learn how to stand against racism. It doesn't work like that at all. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. You <laughs> take down racism from the view. No, please, you don't have to do that. You could just be against racism from the start. <laughs> Wait, let him cook. No, don't let him cook. <laughs> Racism. If I don't have to do that, then why do they do all that racism? You, you're just racist, Garfo! I'm sorry! <laughs> racism sleeper cells, god! Okay. <laughs> I'm dying, please stop! We have Fire Rocket, look at the beautiful new eye. Thank you, SN Mine. A round of applause for SN Mine, everyone. Please press the button. Kaffer's <laughs> been timed out. Okay, next. Um. <laughs> I need a revive medic. Uh, which of you wants to be the rep? Oh, I, I, I ran in bug skippers. It's gonna be you, ninja. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, I need an engineer too, but not on this map. This map isn't so good for engineers. So I'll bring a revive medic. I feel like headed, sorry. I do, Jeff. I need, a, I need a revive medic IRL. Um. Delta, do you want to be an assault again? What am I going to do with you? Perhaps another assault. <laughs> Don't, sh dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make that stick in my head forever. <laughs> no. You're gonna ruin the warlock for me next time we play it's come to. What if we had a second anti spets assault? Oh yeah, true, I don't wanna do assaults or attacks. You're right, I forgot. Ah, damn, I don't wanna do that. Ah, I wanna I wanna like random both of these two now. And just see what they roll. They have really good stats to be well, they have stats that could make them good at anything. Unless this 5 health soldier becomes a sniper, but then you just make them a close combat sniper. So probably random these two. You're a medic, random these two, because I don't want to attack her in assault anyway, really. <laughs> That's true, I mean, that is what I did. That's true. Hmm. Random, but do you want a wav of the Cervoza crystal? Maybe this is a sound effect? Sure. Sure, I'll take it, thank you. I always take random wavs. Let's do it, let's random them. Okay, another medic. That's good, because I haven't rolled the other one yet, so now you can be an engineer. That's good. Give, give him your perk. You're gonna be a big medic, because you've already rolled another health there. Plus one health medic. There's your free revive. Look at this medic! 6 health, 70 aim, 40 will! Oh, that's good. That's good will. You do get a big- no, you just get a big will bump. You get like plus 10 when you stop being a rookie, actually. How free revive? Oh, it's just a house rule I do for medics in this campaign. I give them revive for free. Because I comboed it on training roulette, but it doesn't work when you take it for your first thing. Okay, um... Potato, let's find out what you are. Okay, I'll take a gunner. Nothing wrong with a gunner. I'll take it. Uh, and your account is locked. I think you're coming too. Roger that. It does mean I have no... It, it, it does mean I have, like, no... Specialists for the UFO, which is frightening. No, wait. I'll have one. I'll have one specialist for the UFO. Hmm. That is frightening still. 
But I can spam flashbangs on the UFO. We're gonna make it work. It's fine. <laughs> Ivanated, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a counter's locked. Scout or sniper, actually? Probably scout. It's gonna be more useful overall. Our sniper specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage. But doesn't this map have high ground? Like legit high ground? They're vulnerable in close combat situations. No, I think it has a I think its highest high ground is two. There may be a three shelf, but I don't think so. True, maybe to sack. Yeah, go to the scouts, you can sack. Also, so you can clear Overwatch. Which we saw last mission was already important. So let's go scout. Nice HP roll. Can we just skip everyone and get off the med bay? I hope so, bug. I hope so. And then we get one more soldier. Now we have pretty good ban of health. No one's got exceptional aim. Uh, Ninja, you're an engineer, right? Yeah, you're gonna be an engineer. Terrible aim, just like an engineer deserves. Um, Hendrik Wiener. No, it's Werner. Alexei Antonov has a great name. Just a great balanced stat roll overall, too. That's actually nice. Five health. 26 will isn't great. 30 mobility. 65 and one defense. Very balanced stat roll, except for the will. You traded will for health. No, we changed our mind, Ninja, because we ran someone else into it. Or you could take... <laughs> 5 health, 72 aim, 12 ability, 29 will, but they dumped defense. Minus 5 defense. That's amazing. I like the cut of your jib, Rossi. I like the way you build your D&D character. Let's fucking go. Literally, um, I'm gonna restart the raffle right now, guys, because it's time for only the people who are here right now to get into this raffle. Archived and redone. Now? The raffle is open! Exclamation mark raffle. Get your raffles in. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. When I get back from the bathroom, we're gonna draw and find out who Rossi is, and then we're gonna go on the mission. Get right back! Okay. The winner of Rossi is Parker Boy. You are this soldier. Congratulations, chat. You won as long as you are Parker Boy. Well done. You specifically did it. Congratulations. Remember that the starter rockets are actually really inaccurate, especially on your aim. Still gotta bring him! Shredder for drone swarms. Sovietus is not gonna lie, I hope they all die now. I know. I know you do. And it's that kind of attitude that holds XCOM back from greatness. 
Shotguns, please. That is not a democratic, patriotic, super earth spirit. Med kits, yes, please. Bring many revives for the hell we may be about to endure. Gunner. I think on this map, an LMG will be useful. Thank you, Camelot, for poisoning the vibes of your negative brainwaves and willing death to the squad. Thank you so much. Appreciate your bravery. This is no chain panic, right? No, not that. This. Maybe no chain panic for you. Just this once. Scout! I have a lot of shotguns and marksman rifle might be nice. Oh yeah, don't forget your flashbangs too. AP and flash looks good. For close encounters. What's your mobility? Pretty good. Parker Boy is a rook. Slink says, isn't it exactly that attitude that pays your mortgage of the kitchen? True! Jano says, this is your opportunity to name your base a la Helldiver's Destroyer. I mean, it's just SES Princess of Equality is how I roll, folks. You don't have to applaud for that, that's fine. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Imagine getting the soundboard to only play, like, two sounds over and over. The fucking clapping or the crowd cheer, that's all I ever do. I never use any other sound. Oh, what the fuck is that? So that's two shotguns. Probably don't want you up front, to be honest. So maybe even take yours away and give the scout another one. Because I kind of don't want you up front. But also, you could be like a reserve for drones, I guess. But having shotguns on the Lost Blocks positions would be good. You can kind of chill back with the LMG, I think. We have Flash AP, Flash AP, AP, HE. I would like some smoke. So I think rather than this, you probably need to bring a smoke grenade. Nah, if, if I've got the WAV Sovieta, I can do anything. If I believe I can do anything. I can move mountains. I can move mountains, yeah. Um, one smoke. I would like to bring a second one, but I'm kind of predicting the need to use six medkits or five medkits. AP, AP, flash, flash, AP, HE, rockets. This is a serviceable squad. A little light on smoke. Make it certainly useful if you survive the shots. Well, it's for topping up after mind phrase and also for revives. <laughs> Incredon, that's what we're gonna call when that uh, leaked thing, the, the drop in squad, comes in. That's what we're gonna call it. Good idea. I think we're good to go. Can you guys see anything wrong with my loadout here? I think we're ready. I think I can play both sides of the map, as long as I don't get put in the middle. And I think even if I get put in the middle, I can make it work. Not enough helmets. We, they don't get decoys till till Carapace. We're, we're not bothering until then. Go out there and make me proud, squad. I mean, you better, because there's five specialists on the mission. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. Alien activity continues to surge Elena. within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. On Operation Blinding Spark. Pray for good luck and good times. 
Wouldn't it be fun to get a campaign beyond the first day? I think so.